Hello folks. Well, many of you watching my channel know I love biplanes, like my Byron Pitts, which is now on display at the Academy of Model Aeronautics Museum, but especially the Aeromasters. I've been pretty partial to them since I began flying RC. They were designed and manufactured by Lou Andrews of Lou Andrews Aircraft Corporation, and they were a mainstay staple at the Multi-Wing National Pattern Contest in Omaha, Nebraska, and was my favorite contest to fly at. And then I couldn't get the Aeromasters anymore when they, uh, when Lou passed. Well, at that point, while I was working at uh, Kraft Radio Control Systems, I began flying the Bill Evans Aircraft Astron X-Wing. I also flew that at the Multi-Wing Nationals as well, but <laughs> that's a whole different story. I actually built many Aeromaster 2s for contests and this was when they were all balsa and mostly an all-winter project. You know, in the fire, I lost the first Aeromaster I bought from John Donovan, who told me I should enter to the multi-wing contest way back in 1973, and that was the beginning of it for me, and I've uh, been hooked on it ever since today. Well, after the fire, I bought another Aeromaster from John when he began selling out his personal stuff. Many of you see me fly it for him before he passed away. So looking at it hanging on the wall today and being it's the middle of winter and the price of low fuel is about 45 bucks a gallon, I decided to make it a foam board electric Aeromaster. Well, I like to make stuff from foam board, but this time I used real good uh, foam board that I got from uh, Walmart for $3 a sheet, not that dollar store stuff. I used four sheets. I had no plan, so just by looking at it hanging on the wall, I drew this sketch and drew out the parts on paper, cut them out, drew it out on the foam board. Well, it was a lot of figuring out and figuring out as I went, you know. I was kind of hoping it looked like an Aeromaster when I got done. You know, I had to figure out where to put a landing gear, a motor mount, where to put the servos. All that was constantly on my mind as I kept going. I might note that the size of the plane actually was determined by the size of the foam board what I could actually make in all in one piece, like the wings and fuse. I didn't want to have to splice or butt anything together. <laughs> Here's how it went and here's how it ended up. There we go. Okay.
pretty good for some foam trash. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, well I, the, my battery fell off. It's so cold that the belt, the sticky, is gone. <laughs> That's good. Broke a prop. <laughs> Never give up. <laughs> I didn't like that uh, three-bladed propeller anyway, so I found a spinner that I had and a propeller. And uh, let's go ahead and spin this thing up. And this is the Electrofly, and I forgot when I was flying out there that it has to be armed. And to arm it, in addition to this, switch here being on that now arms it and then you have to run it up to full throttle it beeps once bring it back down to low throttle it's now armed so let's see how that propeller spins Ooh. It's got plenty of power. All right, I'm good with that. All right, but it's eight degrees still. I'm not going back. <laughs> Wait till next time, folks. And in the meantime, you could build your own. <laughs>